Now, it's already legal and the first gay marriage in France will take place next week. Still, though, those against it are in central Paris today for a last-ditch demonstration. Aro de Puy is in central Paris. Thousands of people have gathered behind me, including families. They have not followed the interior minister's advice not to bring their kids to this protest because it could be dangerous. What authorities do fear is that a far-right extremist will hijack this protest. And as you know, extremists are held responsible for a, a series of clashes with police in recent weeks. A huge stage has been set up where organisers have already started speaking. One of them has said that they feel betrayed by French President François Hollande. I'm here with uh, Clément Borioli, who is uh, the spokesperson for a homosexual association called Homo Vox. Um, Clément, you are yourself gay. Yeah. Why are you against gay marriage? There were fears this would descend into violence, weren't there? And it looks like that's happened already. Absolutely, Tom. Things have turned very, very ugly indeed. The violence first started in a small street leading to the Invalide, where I am. And now, as you can see behind me, it's come right at the heart of this place. You can see there, people are running away because police have been throwing tear gas. Uh, one security guard actually gave me a mask because our eyes are starting to sting. Um, I've seen protesters throwing bottles, throwing stones at the police. There are still thousands of people here and, and they're not ready to back down. And oh, it's a real contrast, isn't it, with how the rest of the, the day's events panned out? <laughs> Excuse me, the, the tear gas. Yes, it is a real contrast. Up until about 8 p.m. local time, things had gone really, really smoothly. Uh, there had been no clashes, no violence whatsoever. Entire families came from all over France to come to attend uh, this huge demonstration. Organisers say that more than a million people uh, turned up into the streets of Paris, and organisers have actually said that violence would not be tolerated. Well, it seems that this rule has now been broken. Now, as you can see behind me, people are still protesting. Hundreds of people are here at the Invalide, and they're saying that this is a socialist dictator. Protesters are now chanting the French national hymn, La Marseillaise. And only a few protesters are currently left. The protest is nearly over and uh, they've been cornered away from the Invalide. They want the French president to scrap this law entirely. Some of them are even asking for a referendum on the issue.